Greetings everyone, welcome back to Lembex FX. Today, I'm going to talk about an old PlayStation 2 game called Dot Hack Infection. We will discuss how the Book of Twilight is obviously the Bible. At least, it will be obvious when I'm done. But first, like and subscribe, and share this with others who would like to learn how to hide or find symbolism in games, or anything else you find in this video that is useful. Now, let us begin. Now, if you don't know what Dot Hack Infection is, it is a game about an online game called The World, something we'll have to talk about later. Now, some events transpired, so if specific monsters killed a person's character in the game, the player would fall into a coma in the real world. So you, as Kite, must defeat these monsters to end this problem. Now, to this end, a girl with white hair and the symbol of infinity on her chest named Aura gives Orca an item called the Book of Twilight. When he asks what it is, she describes it as A great force. The power it holds can bring forth either salvation or destruction at the whim of the user. But Orca is killed by one of these rare monsters, so his player, Yasuhiko, falls into a coma. So this great power is passed on to Kite. Now, we're not really going to talk about how the great power is used today. To understand that this Book of Twilight is the Bible, we really only need the name. For any of you who have played Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, you know that Riku walked the path of Twilight, a road between light and darkness. Diz asked if it was the path from light toward a dark end. Riku declined and said he walked the path toward the dawn, meaning Twilight can either mean the beginning of the day or the end of a day. So the Book of Twilight is shorthand for saying the book of the beginning and the end. It should be noted that the Bible does describe itself as a book that can tell the beginning of days and the end of days. To reference the beginning or what has gone on in the past is called history. To tell the end or to predict the future is called prophecy. The Bible is so confident that it can do that that it challenges all gods of every religion to do the same if they are real. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 22 says, Let them bring them forth and show us what shall happen. Let them show the former things what they be that we may consider them and know the latter end of them or declare us things for to come. So the Bible issues a challenge to other religions to show people history and prophecy, the beginning and the end. Since the Bible does that a lot, it is called the Book of Prophecy in Revelation. Therefore, it is the Book of Twilight. Now, Ord says the Book of Twilight is a great power that can either bring salvation or destruction at the whim of the user. That means, depending on who uses it, it can either be used to destroy lives or to save them. In the game, Scathe, this monster here, destroyed lives by using the power to put others into a coma. Kite, our character, saved lives by using that same power to defeat monsters like Scathe and bring people out of the coma. In the real world, the Bible is used the same way to either destroy lives by putting you in a coma or to save lives by waking you up. It should be noted that a coma means to be unconscious for a long period of time. It also means to be insensible, which means to lack awareness. In plain English, it means you will make stupid decisions and do things that are not based on sound logic. Now, for an example, most pastors of the Christian church will tell the congregants to give tithes. These pastors define tithes as 10% of your net income, money. In exchange, the pastor tells the quote unquote good news that Jesus did away with laws or something like that. That normally ends in telling women that they are loose from the binds of marriage and can leave their husbands until they can find their Boaz. Boaz is supposed to be a man appointed for the woman that is not his actual role in the Bible, but we're going to ignore that for now. Just know the pastors love to lie. Anyway, the result is the pastors destroy lives twice. 
First, by taking 10% of your money and making the people poor. Secondly, by destroying families with lies. So, how can the Bible save the congregates entrapped by the pastor's assault of biblical lies? If I read the Bible to you, I'd show you that one, ties were never money. So if you're giving ties, you should never give money. Ties were actually food. Two, ties were food that were to be sacrificed and eaten. If you were too far away from the place of sacrifice, yes, you could temporarily exchange it for money. But the moment you were close enough to the place of sacrifice, you had to use that money to buy all the food again. Because again, ties were food. Three, ties were 10% of the food that you grew in your own land where your race was the ruling government. So if you didn't own your own land and the land that God gave to your ancestors or any other race ruled over you, then in either of those cases, you can't give tithes. Four, the tithe, which again is food, is meant to be stored for the poor, the widow, and the orphan, not for your pastor. Five, the tithe, which is food, could only be given to the Levites. The reason is the Levites could not own their own land as they must be everywhere to teach the law and to do the sacrifices. Also, a Levite is a descendant of Israel. If your pastor claims to be from Israel, that would open up a whole larger can of worms. Six, tithing is an Old Testament law. So if your pastor says the law is done away with, then so are tithes. And seven, even if you don't believe the laws are done away with, the fact is, even though I told you all this, none of it matters. Because according to Hebrews 7 and 12, Jesus Christ did away with the Levitical priesthood, which means no more tithes. And now, since you know all that, you're not going to give your pastor any more money. And because your pastor doesn't get any money from you, he'll eventually have to close his church. Which means, since the church is closed, there's no one to teach the women lies that would destroy families. So, I used the same Bible the pastor was using to save you from the biblical coma that the pastor put you in. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you found something useful today, share my video. And also, like, comment, and subscribe. Now, there are other things that I can go into, like unlocking sealed areas and data drain, but I want to talk about one of my favorite songs, Stray Child. Until then, I'll see you next time on The Mech's Effects.